Um, so yeah, Rick Ross, Port of Miami 2, Born to Kill. Port of Miami 2, Born to Kill is a tent studio album by rapper Rick Ross. Oh, oh that was bad. Let me do it again. Oh, a little better. Uh, it was released today. The album is a sequel to Ross's debut 2006 platinum album, Port of Miami. And this album took a long time to come out. I think he, re- he announced it like two years ago. Really? And then he went on Complex, I think. Music announced it. The year went by. Nothing. And then nothing. He said it was coming. And then now it's finally here. That's, damn, two years? That's crazy. But overall, well, also he was hospitalized, so I mean. <laughs> that's true. But I'm not a big Rick Ross fan already. Me neither. I feel like he has some songs that are good. He's a, he's a featured artist to me. Like I, I like think, his features. I can see that, but I think he has a few good songs on his own. But 10 studio albums? I didn't know he had that many albums. Me neither. I don't think I've listened to any of them me, like all the way through. I have not. I mean, even this one, I kind of did even... I kind of skipped through. It to was be to me for the thing with Rick Ross with me is he sounds the same, very similar in all of his songs. Has and he, the song that stuck out to me the most seemed like it was a very different style than the other songs. I'm trying he, to think which song the with Boogie. Oh, the A Boogie song. I mean, he still kind of still had. Yeah, but same. he had he he had like an actual chorus. Hook That's to true. It. Yeah, but my overall thoughts. I wasn't a big fan. I was bored of it. Yeah, I. It's a good album. I just was bored of it. That's what I was gonna say. It's gonna sound weird. Like, it was. It wasn't a bad album, but I was just bored of it because it's not Rick Ross isn't. Yeah, but like, like I can see why people would like you it. You don't have to like an album to respect the exactly album. I'm glad we're on the same page there. But yeah, I just I'm not gonna listen to it's it not again. Our kind of music, I would say. Yeah. So we did still do a top three, which I mean was kind of hard because. I wasn't in love with like any of the songs. What was your number three? I didn't have any honorable mentions. I want to say I, that yeah, first. I didn't put any. My number three was Vegas Residency. It was just bars, but yeah, it was I, an okay song. It was okay. I want exactly. I want to also state that none of these songs made my library. Oh no, I didn't even download the um, album. So number three, I put Rich in Star 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 A Lifestyle featuring Nipsey. I can't say that word. I don't have the pass. But it's it was a good song, Nipsey. I feel like. I think you were saying you didn't like Nipsey's verse on here, huh? I didn't like the song in general. general. I think it was good. Like I said, I like Nipsey. It's crazy how how many songs he had like oh, already yeah. saved. But I mean, if he released, well, announced this two years ago, it would make sense. Oh, yeah. Number two. But he actually, it was oh. only a month before he died that he recorded. This verse? Yeah. Really? That's For crazy. a month or two. Some, it was really close. Too. Yeah, I was going to say it's crazy, but I mean, you still have X coming out with stuff. Yeah. Freaking Drake had Michael Jackson on Mac the Mac Miller has some stuff, yeah. too. I'm excited for that. So what's your number two? I Still Pray featuring YFN Luchi. Luchi? You really you like that song? I only I liked it because it explained what actually happened to him in the whole hospital. Yeah, that's true. Had more. See, but you, you're weird. You say you don't like like storytelling rap. Uh, I didn't. I didn't care for the song in my library. That's but good point. I'm just like, yeah, that's a good point. Number two, I put Bogus Charms featuring Meek. Okay. So you like Meek? What do you think of his verse? Subpar. Yeah, I agree. Like I said, wasn't a big fan. Number one, I. I don't know. What was your number one then? Running the streets. Okay. So I did too. Running the streets featuring a boogie with the hoodie and it's Denzel Curry. Probably the best song on the album. The chorus is kind of catchy, and. The features are pretty nice. Yeah. Um, Especially Denzel Curry's. I was going to say, how do you, do you listen to Denzel Curry? No. No? So, I didn't listen to his uh, recent album, but I listened to Taboo, I think the album uh-huh. was called. It was, he's pretty good. I feel like you have to be in the mood for him. Yeah. Type thing. He's kind of, kind of like the baby. I feel like you got to be in the mood for the baby because oh, yeah. the baby's kind of aggressive, but I liked it. It was... Like I said, it's not going to make my my library either. What would, what would you rate it? Oh, speaking of rating, uh, that was rude. Say excuse me. No. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to kind of switch up our rating scale. I don't know why you, you explained right. because you wanted to switch it up. We're switching out our rating scale from 1 through 10 to 1 through 5 stars. Now, my reasoning is this. We're giving shitty albums really good reviews. Like, for example, we gave... Carnival. Bryce Vine, Carnival album, six. I think I gave it a 5.5 and you gave it like a five. No, you gave it a four. 
No, I didn't. I you gave it like a five, five or a you? six. Anyway, I, I thought I gave it a 5.5. You gave it a six. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we shitty. gave it a higher rating than it deserved. And my reason is I'm more comfortable giving an artist two stars, which is a four out of ten, mm-hmm. than actually giving them a four out of ten. It, it sounds kind of like, yeah. like a dick. Like four out of ten, really? Yeah. So but if I give them two stars... It's like okay, yeah. And when you think about it, like three out of five stars, like if you see that on Yelp, you're still like, eh, yeah, it's okay. So speaking of that, three out of five, that's what I gave this album, which I wouldn't have gave it a six out of ten. Which yeah, I would have gave it like a seven. Mm-hmm. But a three out of five sounds better than a. That's like so, right in the middle. Exactly. So wasn't I, bad, but it wasn't great. I also gave it a three out of five. Yeah. So it does make more sense. Three out of five stars sounds better than. Six out of ten. I mean, it's literally the same thing, Yeah, but it just sounds better. It sounds more, I guess, respectful. 